Okay, I was asked by King of the Bang to respond to another pop culture interest in video on the YouTube channel. And this time the question is, what do I think about Donald Trump running for the U.S. presidency and his relationship with the... Uh, Republicans? I think he got kicked out of some Republican event. I don't know. Truth is, I haven't been really following. It's Im it's impossible. Hey, 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 come on. It's impossible not to be um, aware that Donald Trump is running for president if you're on social media at all. Um, but as far as following the, the whole story or interest in it and that kind of a thing, um, no, I have very little. Um, but Mahoney may have more to say on the issue. Um, my, my perspective is that Donald Trump, he, his, even his, you know, candidacy, all in all, it kind of, to me, it makes a mockery out of American politics, or maybe American politics were already such a mockery that this has become a... Uh, potentiality someone like Donald Trump coming in and you know I know that like I know that uh, Hillary is one of the Democratic candidates potentially to be running for president I don't know if she's already running I don't really follow the because I don't vote right um, and I, 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 I think that like Jeb Bush someone like that might be a Republican potential I don't know I don't know who the Republican Party candidate is or whatever but as far as the news goes it's all about Donald Trump <laughs> and um, in my estimation Donald Trump is kind of like a rich clown um, he has the he knows how to make money and but you know outside of that I don't really see Donald Trump as a leader um, but maybe America has become so much about money that that Donald Trump is the guy I don't know what do you think well <clears throat> the US has been in this recession for such a long time now like you know a few years now which in the history of the U.S. is like a long time to be in a recession, right? Um, they're running out of money, and in a way, I'm just gonna back up a little bit. In a way, this is kind of a moot thing for us to be talking about, seeing as how we're Canadian, <laughs> and so um, the Canadian. Uh, Politics is different because we're socialist, as what they say, but not really, we're not really socialist, but that's what they say, anyway. Um, but they do follow kind of a socialist, I guess, hierarchy in the way that things are named, you know, Prime Minister, and we have the House of Commons, and all that kind of stuff. Anyway. So Canadian politics, to an extent, is different. Um, and of course, we're never going to vote in a U.S. Um, election because we're I, Canadians. I, I actually and could, but I'm not going to. <laughs> the last yeah. time I voted in the U.S. election was because Ross Perot was running, and I thought that little guy was so freaking hilarious that I just had to vote for him. It's like voting for Mickey Mouse. So anyway, um, so the the U.S. has been in this recession for I don't know how long, several years already, I guess. And so their their big deal at this point is that they can't make money, and if you can't make money, you can't have jobs and so people are losing jobs left and right because and then they can't get a job because they can't make money right so 
nobody has the money to hire anybody. And so because this is happening, you know, there's a big problem there, right? And one of the things that, that I'm looking at is that the past presidents for the last few elections, they haven't been real businessmen, like real businessmen. Um, if you look at Donald Trump, he's lost millions, made millions, billions even, of dollars over his lifetime. I mean, how many times has he gone from like flat ass broke to being, you know, a millionaire and then a billionaire all over again? You know, he's done this a number of times. So obviously he knows business. Um, he owns like, you know, a large portion of Manhattan, which is huge because, you know, you have to be able to own those kinds of buildings like in Manhattan, to, if you're going to be a rich person in Manhattan, you have to own real estate in Manhattan. Like, you can't just be rich on that level without owning real estate. So, you know, obviously he's got a, he, he's got a mind for business and he's got a mind for, for, um, you know, digging his ass out of a hole every single time he gets into one, you know? Um, and... <clears throat> Now, I don't know a lot about Donald Trump other than that. I think the reason why he's lost his money is because of, like, his wives took it or something. And each of his divorces, <laughs> his wives, like, had it's no wonder he's cases. lost so much of his hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's that, I, I don't think that uh, the reason he's lost money is because he's stupid. I think he's, he's stupid in relationships, but he's really smart when it comes to business. That's the thing, you know. And so, yeah, you can lose all your money being stupid in a relationship like that, especially in a system that favors the wife um, for getting the money. You know, in, in like, what, 20 years ago, it was the complete opposite, where it was, well, you're the wife, you had all the kids, you stayed home and, you know, took care of the kids, well, that's your loss, because now you got nothing kind of thing and your husband gets to keep all his money and you get to go to the soup kitchen line, right? All right but things here's... changed in the last 20 years so that now the justice system in the in the uh, western world kind of favors the wife now. So wife stays home, takes care of the kids, <clears throat> the husband goes out makes the money, there's... and then you get a divorce so the wife gets the money. There's, right? there's no wives today that are not so, not working, except if well, you're really rich. Yeah, that's like what Donald I'm. Trump. That's what I'm talking about. Right. So that's so now they like favor you know the the wife in those situations. Right. And you know so the wife gets the money. Okay. And right. so Still you know then you have like people like. Uh, Donald Trump, who who loses money to his wives, and then he has to like build himself back up and get money again and <clears throat> right. So whatever. Okay. So you know maybe somebody like that is needed at this point in order to turn around the situation that is happening in the U.S. right now, because eventually that's going to affect Canada. But why is that? Why is that happening? So here, here would be my questions to that. Why is that happening in the U.S. that there's this deficit issue? You know, what I what I see the reason that that's happening is because the U.S. overspends on um, warfare agendas. Yeah, they do. And it's because these there's these rich guys that, that are selfish and want to make money, and were and keep kind of oscillating back and forth to running the country. I mean, there's been there was Reagan and then Bush, and Bush was especially like this Bush senior. And then you got a little bit of Clinton, and they go back to Bush, and yeah. they spend a whole bunch of money again. Then you go then you go to Obama. And Obama tries to dig his way out, and it was kind of digging his way out. But to go back to <laughs> a, somebody who's a selfish man. And expect them to dig out of a deficit when there's opportunities for the president to selfishly make money yeah. in things like warfare. Yeah. I wonder about whether <laughs> Donald Trump's the right guy because, to me, like Donald Trump does not strike me as a patriot that's going to be like doing things for the benefit of the U.S. He's a guy that's like, I want to do it 
because I'm the Donald and I'm making my money, right? And I'm making yeah, my but, name for myself. But I don't, like, I think Donald Trump sees that just like the little bit that I know about his campaign and really I only know this from like the little snippets that I've seen on the news or things from social media or whatever but um so it's not like something that I've actually been actively following or anything um I don't even actively follow the Canadian campaigns I mean you know I know that in Canadian politics right now it's like between Justin Trudeau and and uh, Harper, and Harper's calling Justin Trudeau a little kid, and I've only heard that one side. I I haven't heard anything from Justin Trudeau or any of the other candidates that are going to run for prime minister. <clears throat> I don't well, know anything. You know more that's than me on. because I don't even know the name Justin Trudeau. Although I yeah. do know that there was a prime minister who was Trudeau before. Yeah, Trudeau was. <laughs> Okay, well, just set this other stuff aside. Trudeau was, was considered kind of a great a prime minister. A lesson in Canadian politics. And, um, and so people kind of think that Justin Trudeau, because... Is that his son? Um, yes, that's, because that's his son. He, they think that Justin is trying to make his name off of his dad and say, well, you should vote for me because I'm my dad's son. But, you know, that, of course, never works, right? So, <clears throat> but I don't know, because I haven't heard anything from Justin Trudeau's campaign. Um, and, like, I watch news here and there, usually for, like, five or six minutes, and then I'm, and then I'm done with it. I don't actually watch the full news hour or whatever. Um, in a way, it's become like royalty. We got the Trudeaus here in Canada who are trying to take a second generation of, of prime minister. Mm -hmm. And in the U.S., well, who do you got? You well, got the Clintons <clears throat> against the Bushes. Well, the better, it's the better like a royal prime thing. ministers that we actually had was um, was a, a French guy, and I can't remember his name. Um, <laughs> and uh, and uh, um, is that the Brian guy with the Maureen, crooked mouth? Yes. No, that's a different guy. Yeah, that's the French guy I'm thinking of. Okay. No, I was, yeah. I was thinking about Trudeau, I think, with the crooked mouth. No, that's the French guy that I'm, um, John something, Jean Chrétien. Chrétien, yeah, yeah Chrétien. Yeah, Jean Chrétien was a good Chrétien has minister. the crooked mouth. <clears throat> yeah, because he had, uh, Bell's palsy. Right. Yeah, so anyway, so Jean Chrétien was a good prime minister for, um, the Canadian people, and Brian Mulroney was actually pretty good. He wasn't, like, great or anything. Um, and then Trudeau, I'm too young to know what Trudeau did. All I know is the name. Um, and I don't even know his first name. All I know is that his name was Trudeau. Um, cause Justin Trudeau is like my name, is like my age, maybe a little bit older. And, <clears throat> um, he's, you know, he was a baby when his dad was, was prime minister. And so... You know, I was a baby when his dad was prime minister. I have no idea what Trudeau did, other than I, I know the last name. Mm -hmm. um, so really, like the the people that that. Sorry, Americans, we're off on a total um, Canadian yeah, tangent. Yeah, the point. the people <laughs> of my age that know prime ministers, we're gonna know Brian Mulroney because he was still in the office when when I was little, and then Jean Chrétien, and Jean Chrétien really was a great prime minister. Um, <clears throat> and then we got this black car Harper. Okay, but let's roll so, back anyways, over to so, this this guy. Yeah, so Donald with the floppy Trump. Floppy haired Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald, Donald Trump. Trump. Okay, what if he goes up against? Let's let's just say that he's got the conservative side wrapped up. Let's say that Jeb Bush is like he's not going to get anywhere. So Donald, it, it comes down to Donald Trump and Hillary. What are well, people going to do? I don't think any, uh, like, or at least I'd like to think that people aren't going to vote another Bush in, because if you look at it, the Bushes have really fucked up the U.S. in a really bad way. Well, that's some last. people's opinion. Other people's are like, you know, the, the these rich guys that are making money off the military. Well, of course, they're going to like, they're going to like The Bush conservative Christians love him. Yeah, because they're making money. And... 
they believe the lies and whatever, you know, like, <clears throat> you know, I, I mean, they had this, this guy who, you know, his whole thing was to appear to be mentally you know, deficient. That was his whole thing, was to appear mentally deficient. Oh, he did but, that very good, too. Yeah, he did it very good, because... I'm sure he's not that stupid. No, he's not. Uh, but he, he's, you know, he's he not, played but it they, up. They just, every little slip he made, that's what... Well, it's not just that, but he played that up. Yeah. He purposely played that up as if he was, like, mentally deficient. Because he didn't want people paying attention to what he was really doing. You think? Yeah, I think so. And so, <clears throat> it's just like when Clinton and the whole, like, Monica Lewinsky thing broke. But at the same time, he's, like, bombing a bunch of people in Asia. And that slips under the radar because he's got the whole Monica Lewinsky thing going on. And everybody's focused on that. I but could, they're not I paying bl- attention to I what he's actually I believe the Bush doing. thing more than that. Because <clears throat> I don't think anybody is going to have a big riff with their wife with an affair just so they can block some well, political no, but, thing that they're but doing. But he just happened to, you know, he just happened to be bombing the shit out of an Asian country on the day that he decides he's going to go onto TV and say, I had relations with that woman, you know? I mean, like, come on, who does that, right? Like, he right. could have he could have chosen a, another day well, for th- that. This brings up something, but, though. Okay, you got, you got Hillary, mm-hmm. who's been a long-time politician, in the political game, she's been a senator for New York for a long time. She was the first lady, and she kept her family together through a major trauma. And she's running against the Donald, who has went through several families, because he can't keep it together through a major trauma. But he makes a lot of money selfishly on his own. So who's the better president? Well, I don't think either of them really are the better president. Um, well, between the two, there's got to be one that's better, right? I mean, they both kind of suck. This is the this is why well, I don't see, vote the, anyway, because the they always suck. The thing, could you not talk over me when I'm trying to battle? Okay, go. Okay, the thing is, is that... Personally, I think Hillary was weak. Because... I think she stayed in a bad marriage because she felt like she had to, because she was in the public eye. Um, And if I were in her position, I would have been like, fuck you, I'm leaving, and I'm taking all your shit. If I was in that marriage, you know, he went and he stuck his dick in another woman. And that is 100% unacceptable so but I but I heard that Bill Clinton has been like a long time player like this, well, this is well, not a this, new thing when he got into okay, this marriage okay, but into, this, into this position you know I'm still talking and it really pisses me off when you do that okay so anyway you know this happened extremely extremely publicly um, and uh, you know if, if he was a like to me, for her to, to stay in a marriage and she knows that he's going to be fucking other women at the same time, that just screams weakness to me. That screams weakness in character as not just a woman, but as a person in general. Like, if I was if I was there saying, okay, well, yeah, we're going to be married, but you're going to stay home and you're going to take care of the kids that I have and I'm going to go fuck everybody I feel like fucking. Would you want to stay in that marriage? No, you wouldn't. No. And so for a woman to say that that's acceptable, to me that's just as weak as a man doing the same thing. Um, Because if you're in a relationship and your significant other in that relationship has no respect for you, that they're going to go and sleep with whomever they want to while they're with you, if you're gonna stay in that relationship, to me that just screams weakness. Um, and why would you do that? Why would you stay with somebody that you knowingly are sleeping with and you know that they are sleeping with other people at the same time? 
I would never stay in a relationship like that if I knew if I knew well, going into that relationship. Be, isn't she gonna be damned if she does and damned if she doesn't? Well like, probably if she if she if she if, she if she ditched him, wouldn't she be criticized for that too? Yeah, but she would be criticized by those crazy Catholics that are like, You need to keep your family together no matter what and blah 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 and those are the same women that their husbands beat them every Saturday night when they've been yeah, out but, at the bar. Okay, but Bill but long. Bill Clinton's not beating anybody. You know? No, but Bill those Clinton are the same is that, kind Bill of Clinton's people. the asshole. Hillary yeah. Clinton is not necessarily the asshole, <clears throat> right? It's Bill. No, but she's weak for not leaving and for not standing up for herself. You know, the the people that are going to be calling her down are the people that are going to be in the exact same situation that she's in because they they want somebody that's a role model that will say, okay, well, I'm going to stay in this horrible situation no matter how much it kills me to stay in this situation. I'm going to stay in it because uh, I made, you know, um, a commitment in a church, you know, that's, to me, that's ridiculousness. Um, and so, yeah, those are going to be the same people that are saying, that are telling her, that, that are going to say, yeah, you should, you shouldn't have left. But to me, the stronger person would be like, no, you need to respect me. You need to realize that it's either us together or not at all. Whereas it's not just you going to fuck around with whoever while I sit here and watch you do it. To me, that's not a strong woman. That is a horrible, horrible thing to do to yourself. And I think it's a waste of your life to sit there and watch your spouse screw around and while you're being demeaned basically by having to stay in that relationship and to me Hillary is a really weak person for doing that um, alright that's, that's your opinion my opinion yeah, is my that opinion. my opinion is that she's way stronger relationally than Donald Trump because her relationship ran into a wall and she was able to put her own you know like like um like Donald Trump, I see as he's like Noppy. <laughs> he's very selfish. Mm -hmm. She was able to put her own selfishness aside to say, "All right, my marriage is worth more than this." You know, this is shitty. Yeah, she, what's she happened can say in all that this? All she wants, but he's still fucking other women. You know that one just happened to be very public, but he's still fucking other women on the side. Yeah, but so, now now they're <clears throat> now they're like old like 70 years old together, right? So not, he's not fucking other people now. Yeah, he is. I'm sure he is. You know, cuz just cuz you're 70 years old doesn't mean it doesn't work. Yes. You know, there there are old <laughs> men that are still out there having sex well into their 70s and 80s. You know. So I guess I'm being I'm being assumptive, but yeah, exactly. I, but I I think I he's a pig know. and she lives with a pig and she just allows. Well, Donald it to happen. Trump is a pig too. That's why he's had all these divorces, right? Or he's mm -hmm. he's just gone out with these girls that are like half his age, because he's a pig, mm -hmm. and then they're like, hey, I was just in it for the money. Exactly. Give me half, and exactly. he got what he, he got what he had coming to him. Well, right? so. <laughs> Who's the better president? You know, yeah, he's he's a pig, but he doesn't sit there and and uh, try to say that he's not. You know, like she does. What's what's going to happen to Donald Trump if he's in that seat? If he's in that seat, he might actually fix the country's economic problems. How? How do you see that happening because with a he, guy that's he's completely <clears throat> selfish? Yeah, and prone to making stupid decisions around women. <laughs> he might be completely selfish, but. He is a really smart businessman. I mean, if, if you yourself were at a point right now where you had nothing, could you actually build yourself up to getting a house again? No, you couldn't. I don't think so. You know, I don't think you could get yourself. Probably not, but that's that's because of the character then, because I don't care about money. Yeah, if well, I cared if, about if money, were, I would do it. Like, you know, it. it if I was a money-oriented person instead of a passion-oriented person, if money was my passion, like it is with Donald, then I would do it. 
but yeah, the well, things that I have passion for just happen to be things that you nobody know, cares about. The thing is, is that, like, Donald Trump, you know, yeah, sure, he's made himself a lot of money, but he's also made other people a lot of money along the way. And, I mean, if you look at him, if you've ever watched his TV show where he, you know, his intern TV show, whatever, when he had real people before he had celebrities on it, and he was going to pick one of those people, he would tell them, you know, all the way through the show, if you make it to the end and you're the person that I choose, uh, then, you know, I'm going to make you a rich person along the way. It's not just me getting rich, I'm taking care of those that are working with me, I'm going to make sure that you're rich too. You know, he said that on many occasions on his show. And he when, said, that's what I When have we ever seen anybody come out of the woodworks and say, Donald Trump made me a gajillionaire, and that's what, why I am who I am today? Nobody has ever come out well, of Well, probably uh, because they that. still work with Donald Trump, and they're not interested in the media. Hmm. You know, they're, they're interested in the business that they're running. And so... I don't, I don't trust him. I think he does a lot of international business. Like, we went to Scotland, and he was, like, buying up this area to convert it to a golf course that was a beautiful natural area. It was a big deal, and Scot the Scottish people were all upset about it, but there was nothing they could do because mm -hmm. he had the money. That's the kind of guy that Donald Trump is. So I don't know. I don't know. Like, I mean, in terms of America, he's, like, the embodiment of it. He is the American dream. Yeah, exactly. He is. He is. And, and um... <clears throat> He's the Monopoly man. <laughs> <laughs> he's the Monopoly man. <laughs> and I think he's been referred to that more, uh, as that more than once. But, um, you know, with that, like, in terms of the problems that the country is having right now, because of the hole that the Bushes have put them in, um... I think he could very well dig them out. Uh, Why, what incentive does he have to dig them out, though, if it doesn't help him personally? But it does help him personally, because if he's able to get the country out of recession, that means that jobs are created, which means that there's more money to spend, which means that he could make more money. If their country is in recession, he's not making money. But if he just goes to other countries. Is not in a recession, then he is making money. Yeah, but he can, Yeah, he goes to other countries to help fortify his business, but his home base, and he's always said that his home base is in the U.S. and his number one, you know, city is New York. So, being that <clears throat> that that is his, you know, uh, his. Uh, main concern is, you know, where where I'm living, are the, you know, is there money to be made there? Is there money to be spent there? Are people spending money? Because that's what you need. You need a society that is willing to spend money in order to keep... The only way to spend that, money is if they have money. Yeah, exactly. And if you don't have jobs, then you don't have money. And so being somebody like Donald Trump, um... And being that he is a guy that's made billions and billions of dollars over his lifetime, and he knows how to do that, I think he could help the country <clears throat> quite a bit you, you to almost, get out of that. You almost have me sold on this argument now, because at this point, the argument is, all right, people in the U.S. don't have enough money to spend. Mm -hmm. If they're not spending money then the <laughs> business owners of the U.S. aren't making money. And Donald exactly. Trump, being a major business owner, wants mm -hmm. people in the U.S. to have money to spend money. Exactly. That's what... All right. That, that makes sense to me. My only fear is, because Donald Trump is not totally nationalistic, this is the first time we've seen him be like, you know, I want to I do the best for America. Mm -hmm. Normally, he's like, I want to do the best for me, Donald. Yeah, well, right now, doing the best for Donald is getting America back on its feet. If you look at it that way, Donald Trump could totally fix the country, you know, if he's able to get them back on their feet. It's possible. Which means that Donald is making money. It's possible, but don't you see, 
Like, if Donald gets into, into the presidency, isn't it like the president in idiocracy? <laughs> it's something like that. It's like this weird yeah, show business it, <clears throat> craziness thing. It is. It is. But when you look at it, if you look at it, it is then from, you know, where the country is in terms of being able to make money at this point. Um, it's in a very sad place because because all the businesses have gone offshore exactly the why have the businesses. businesses gone offshore because they couldn't um, be here to you know fight the George Bush's wars well no it's so because the people to, here expect to earn a living wage yeah well you know that too but the, you can you can do a lot of those businesses could be done in America and people could live make a living wage Walmart can't be done here. Walmart cannot be done well, without overseas labor. Well, you know, places like Walmart need to go because Walmart... Yeah, they do, but but is a guy like not, Donald Trump going to get rid of them? I don't think he is. You don't know that because, I mean, like, you, you look at it, if the American people do not have money to spend, then people like Donald Trump are not making money. And so, you know, for for that so-called one percent, even though you know, right now there's this whole backlash against them. We need them. We need them in a lot of ways because we can't have this kind of lifestyle that we have without them. Without that one percent being up there, we can't have it because if they don't have money in this country to spend <coughs> and make then they don't need to be in this country. They'll go to another country where they can make money. And then that country will have, you know, the spending and the, and the jobs and the, that, that we don't have here. Right. Right, so. That's <clears throat> what they're doing. Yeah, it's, that's, that's what. That's what Donald's it, doing too. That is what's happening because the people that have been in power are not real business people. So if you had somebody like Donald Trump in power, he's going to be able to see, okay, well, okay, I see that this way we can make money, so we're going to go this way, and, you know, making money makes jobs, jobs makes people, you know, spend money, and in the end, that makes me money, yeah. which means that that also makes the country money. So why is he not, so, he the, okay, here's another thing about Donald Trump. He's not focused on the money thing as his as his platform. He's been talking about all kinds of crazy social issues that he should just keep his nose out of. Well, <clears throat> I think that's because people see him like how you see him, and he wants people to see him in a different light. Well, he's not putting himself in a different light. He's putting himself in the same light as an idiot with bad, you know, social well, morals and ethics. But. Like, I think it's I I what like I think he, it he, is, like like even Fox News banned him <clears throat> because of his anti-feminism. I don't know anything about that. I I heard that he was there was a, re, a, a kind of some kind of Republican thing, a forum or something that was going to go on on Fox, and Donald Trump said some shit about women that offended the Fox people of all people so badly that they were like, all right, Donald can't be here. <laughs> well, that shocks me because of the reputation that Fox News has. Yeah. That they would actually ban somebody like that. Like, I could see them banning you know, somebody like... Um, yeah. And he's talking shit know. about Mexicans, right? He's talking <laughs> shit about so-called okay. illegal aliens. Out of, out of all of the Americans that I've met that are white people, this is not uncommon to be heard. No, okay. it's not, but he should keep <clears throat> his way, nose out of it and just talk the about way that, money. The way that white Americans, from my perspective, the way that white Americans think, they think anybody that's brown is bad. Yeah, they do. And so he is talking like the Especially generic white American. <laughs> he, is, he is generic Mexican white American Mexican or Puerto Rican, talking. depending on your area of the United States. Yeah, he sounds like a generic white American. I know. You and, know. and it's it's and not good to portray yourself like that. Like, why not just focus no, on I'm gonna it, make 
us the money. I mean, the, okay, you know. Why not focus on his strong I, I've, point? Uh, I think that probably the reason he's not is probably his advisors are saying, well, you need to be seen as a person, not just a money maker. Yeah, but he's just, he's cutting off segments. He's like, all right, women, I don't want your vote. Mexicans, I don't want your vote. Black people, I don't want your vote. And he's cutting off people well, left and, and that's, right. Well, that's also because of this closed white people view that is in America that they still think they are the majority. I mean, yeah. okay, look at, look at your brother. You know, your brother is the quintessential white guy. <laughs> right. And... I have heard him, I don't know how many times, say bad things about Mexican people, Puerto Rican people, black people. He has all these bad things because he generalizes them, um, these groups, and saying that they're all that. You know, and I'm sure if, 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 um, if you hadn't married, you know, a Native person, he would have been saying the same thing about Native people, too. You know, and so, like, if, and I wouldn't doubt it that you know, outside of, like, when he's talking to his friends, he's sitting there and he's, oh, Native people are bad, and, you know, the Mexicans are bad, and Black people are bad, and blah, blah, blah. I don't think they care um, about Native people there. That's the thing that's up here, because we're a big reserve right next to a white population. Yeah, but the thing is, Down is, is there, that it's now Mexicans. it's, you know, become in his sphere of knowledge that there are Native people because you married me. And so I'm sure he does probably say it now. Yeah, he might. You know, he might, in, he in might his realize group of now. Friends, even but even there, even with when he talks about Mexicans, a lot of times he's talking about, and and this is not just my brother. I don't mean to shit on my brother. Yeah. But well, no, but like I'm just saying, white, like white as an people, example. white people in 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 the West, in California, Oregon, Washington, um, and the southern the southern states have a problem with Mexican people and they just generalize Mexican people. A lot of a lot of times these people are like Nahuatl or a lot of times they may be like um, Mayan. Or not even that, the, they might be uh, native people from that area. That's what I'm saying. And so or or oh not uh, not I mean, a waddle like, and Maya, Mayan are not from Oregon. Yeah, no, I know what you you're know, saying. You know, they might they might be people, you know, that are, are from like the Grand Ronde communities and they see them they're brown. Oh they must be Mexican. Right. You know, um, and the reason that your brother had no idea, really, that there were Native people was because he was never exposed to it because your brother grew up in, in a completely white society. Right. You know, um, <clears throat> I mean, after seeing how, like, the area that your family lived in and how they lived in that, I mean... When people saw me, they automatically assumed one of two things. One, they assumed I was Mexican. Two, they assumed that I was Asian. They never thought that I could be Native. And they didn't realize that they lived right next door, like a half hour down the road from a very large Native community. Um, and uh, that there were Native people living all around them. They just assumed that if you're brown, you must be Mexican. Um, and, you know, they, they, they all assume that. And uh, what's uh, sad as well is that even the Mexican people assume that. Um, and so that, like... Yeah, they do. You know, they... They, they were they, fucking with you, too. Yeah, exactly. Well, it wasn't just Mexican people. I was getting Asian people that assumed that I was Asian. I mean, I had people from... from uh, and, and I had people from India coming up to me and speaking... Uh, their language and expecting me to know what they're saying and I'm like hey, excuse me I'm Canadian I have no idea what you're saying and then they would get angry at me because they would tell me you don't know your language and I'm like what language are you speaking and then they would tell me that you know I'm like what country are you from they tell me well we're from India I'm like I'm not from India you know I'm Canadian I'm, I'm native <coughs> and uh, I don't know what you're saying and when I told people I'm Blackfoot, they were like, what are you talking about? What is it? Right. You know, um... So, okay, so Donald Trump is a, is, aside from all of his riches, he's a regular white jackass guy that doesn't yeah. know anything that's going on in the world besides his little white world. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, because he doesn't work 
you know, <clears throat> he might have the odd person that makes it to his level, uh, that makes it into his sphere of awareness, you know, where, where they're like an, a, a successful, um, you know, black person or a successful Asian person or whatever, you know, he might have, you know, a few of those people that come into his sphere of knowledge, but for the most part, those people are going to be from their countries and they're going to be living in their countries. And so, you know, he, those are the people that he works with that are of another color. In his own organiza organizations, I doubt that he has very many people that actually make it up to his level of, of awareness, like to, to where he's aware of them that are of another color. Yeah, so do you want such a monocultural guy to be in that leadership well, role? I mean, well, Obama... Well, part of it, it, it doesn't matter what I want because I'm not American. I'm not going to be voting in this election. Yeah, what, what sucks know? is there's not another Obama. I mean, even though Obama didn't do a lot of things that might have been in his, in his potential to do, at least I had a feeling that this guy understands well more than the monoculture yeah he <laughs> he does you know he would have to being that he's a black man in, in a white world he would have to <coughs> but um <clears throat> you know being that uh, as well i think he was held back from doing a lot of the things that he wanted to do for sure um yeah. i think the you know the opposition whatever, you know, like, in uh, the other government people around him prevented him from doing the things that he wanted to do. I mean, yeah, he made history being the first black president and whatever, and it's really sad that there wasn't a black president for him, but um, he wasn't able to make enough change in the time that he was in office um, because he wasn't allowed to make that change because he didn't have the support that he needed. Um, it's like anybody in power, if you're in power and you don't have people that support your power around you, so you can be like the president of, of uh, you know, or whatever it is that they call of a company, but if your, uh, you know, board members don't support that thing that you're doing, you don't have that support around you, you can't make any change. It doesn't matter if you're the president of that company, you can't make that change because your board members don't allow you to, right? And so his, you know, the other people that were, you know, in the, the senators or whoever it is, that Congress. governors or whatever, yeah. you know, they, they didn't allow him to make those changes. He didn't have that support. So because of that, he was unable to make the changes that he needed. And that is why he was never able to fully reach the potential that people thought he was going to have because he didn't have that support. You see what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I know what you mean. Yeah, exactly. So <clears throat> that's the reason why he was unable to fulfill his potential. Right. You know, um, I think for a lot of it, for at least those people, that were, you know, supposed to be his support, it was just, well, we got a black guy to show everybody. You know, it wasn't that they wanted him to have any real power to do anything. They, they opposed him, right. you know, on all the changes that he wanted to make because they just wanted to have, it's like those people that are like, oh, this is my native friend, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, not that if you don't have a name to them, they're just, my native friend, but they don't give you a name to who your native friend is, other than that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, no, I got I got nothing against him not making, um, not doing what he had the potential to do because I know he got set back. I mean, I had, mm -hmm. I have family members who post that crap online, post bullshit again, uh, uh, about him. Yeah, you know. Like, mm -hmm. like, oh, Obama 
You said you're 56 years old last year. This year you say you're 57. What is it, Obama? (laughs) You don't have a birthday in a year? (laughs) You know, (laughs) like that. But, um, yeah, no. But I don't see anybody coming up to bat for this coming election against Donald Trump that has anywhere near, like, the sophistication of it. Uh, Obama. No. And it's sad. No, it's, it's like a I'm bunch scared of because mediocre like, nobody. Like even though we live in Canada and we're not in the US, everybody's affected by what happens in the US. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to see the US go down the road of idiocracy where they got the president and it's like playing like the you know, <gasps> the walk in music when he comes in, you know. <laughs> Like he's walking into a yeah, a like he's going WWF into wrestling yeah, yeah. match or exactly, something. Exactly, you know. That's yeah. I'm afraid that 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 that's the way he's going with this Donald Trump. Yeah, and, well. But I don't want Hillary to be in there either. I don't want Jeb Bush. Fucking, I don't want any of them. No. I don't. It's that's that's why I don't vote. But it's scary. Like the Donald Trump thing mm-hmm. is the most scary to me, because. I don't trust him to be well, anything the, the out for anything except for Donald. I don't I don't think like in the US, from what I can see, your vote really doesn't matter because you have this whole electoral college thing. But they're supposed to kinda of like Yeah, vote they're supposed to but they to may not. They can vote however they feel like voting. Yeah, they they can, but um, they generally you are know, supposed if, to vote for if they're <laughs> if, you do okay, let's say in the state, right? If you if your whole Let's say you have these two candidates in your state, you know, you have, um, you know, we'll say, like, you have Obama and you have, um... Let's just say it's not a real democracy in the United States. Yeah, exactly. Let's just put it that way. If it's a real democracy, everybody votes, every vote counts. In the United States, that's not the way that it works. No, it's not the way that it works. In Canada, that is actually the way that works, because we don't have any stupid electoral college. Right. They actually count the votes, and whoever voted, you know however you voted, if the majority voted for, you know, this guy, then that's who's going to get in. Right. Um, It's not like, you know, what happened with the whole um, uh, fiasco when when George Bush initially got in, you know, um, with him throwing tantrum after tantrum and whatever, and, you know, their ballots were screwed up and whatever. And, you know, black people were not allowed to vote in, in some areas just so that Bush could get in in those areas. You know, with that whole thing happening, um, you know, it was, it that was obviously, you know, showing the public that, yeah, your vote doesn't matter, you know, because it doesn't matter what you vote because we're going to vote, you know, however the hell we want to vote and we're going to put in whoever the hell we want to put in. Um, so really, like, in a lot of ways, I think the U.S. voting system needs a complete overhaul, needs a complete change. Yeah, for sure. Because otherwise, the people will never, ever have a real voice within the government. And yeah, the government it seems, will always... It seems to me also like only rich people can really run, and only yeah. people that are that, that are within, like, you have to have this party and shit to really run. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, like that. That's why I voted when Ross Perot was running because he put up all of his own money to run and it was well, totally yeah. independent thing. <coughs> that's the thing, though, and too. And he was, that he was, he was like, I don't even want to, I don't even want to be paid to be president. I'm just going to do it. If a guy like that runs, that's, that's the time that I vote. Mm. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, my, my yeah. last thought on Donald Trump is. I wouldn't, I wouldn't vote for him, but I wouldn't vote for anybody, so... <laughs> no, I wouldn't vote for any of those people that are running. If I were a U.S. citizen, I wouldn't vote for any of them right now. But, um, and really, in the Canadian elections that are coming up, I haven't seen anything good, like any good candidate come up. All I know is that Justin Trudeau is running, and Stephen Harper is running again, and... I wish Stephen Harper would be killed because I hate that fucktard. So, any you know. any last thoughts on Donald <laughs> Trump? If I were a U.S. citizen, I wouldn't be voting either. You know. Uh, All right. So neither of us would vote. So basically, our opinion is 
Don't even participate. Fuck the vote. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs>